The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Fanatics of Ocean City, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here on the beach in Barnegat Light on LBI in New Jersey. You see behind me we've got the competitors from the local high schools in Southern Ocean County competing in the Battle on the Beach. Now if you read the May edition of the Fisherman Magazine, you're probably familiar with this. It's the team from Lacey High School, from Barnegat High School, Southern Regional High School, and Mates Academy. They gather here on the beach every year to have this competition, this uh, fisheries throwdown, if you will. The current champion, Barnegat High School, they have their name on the perpetual trophy. But the other high schools, I've been told, a couple of the kids told me their strategy for taking that name back, uh, fighting for their own school. The other cool thing about this is, in addition to that perpetual trophy that was donated by Village Harbor Fishing Club, the Long Beach Island Fishing Club, or the Long Beach Island Fishing Tournament, gives a $500 scholarship to the one high school that wins the tournament every year. So we're anxious to find out who's going to get that scholarship as soon as we find out. We'll post it at thefisherman.com this week. Now, if these young competitors are anything like me right before a tournament, you get all jittery, a little bit nervous thinking about what could come. Well, especially when you think about what's just to the south. Last week before Memorial Day weekend, Thomas Baker of Spring Hill, Florida, fishing in the North Wildwood Surf with a bunker chunk, weighed in a 51 pound, 51 inch striper. Now, that's one of the only 50 pound plus stripers that I've heard caught on the beach this year. That was weighed in at Sterling Harbor Bait and Tackle. And again, hopefully more of those post-spawn fish move on around Delaware and up the beaches from Cape May through Atlantic Ocean and finally Monmouth County as the rest of this month progresses. Now nearby in Wildwood over at Pier 47, we're getting reports of the weak fish. We had a nice big weak fish weighed in for our dreamboat contest. That was Anthony Califano just over the Memorial Day weekend had an eight and a half pound weak fish brought it back to Pier 47 Marina. He caught that behind Wildwood someplace. And also we got the same reports from Avalon Hodgepodge. Over the weekend they had three weigh-ins at the same time. Nice big weak fish. It was led by Ken McDermott who had an 11.7 pound weak fish someplace down in Cape May County. He caught that on what we talked about last week. White bucktail, purple worm. So we haven't found out yet if Ken is on the Fisherman Magazine's Dreamboat or if he's a subscriber, so we'll stay tuned. Make sure you check out the leaderboard over at thefisherman.com. Now, if we follow the surf reports, they're continuing to move up the, up the Jersey coast especially. Brigantine has been on fire for the last two weeks. We had good reports of drum and stripers in the wash. That continued through this week. Talking to Nick Honicheski about that, he was gonna give it a shot. Andy Grossman at Riptide says, there's plenty of drum in the surf there in Brigantine. In fact, Phil and Connor here, they're showing stripers and drum, a good mix of fish. Earlier this week, actually, at the South Jetty, they had a big blitz of bluefish, which I know some of these kids here competing today are waiting for the bluefish to show up so they can put something on the board. The other thing, from here, just offshore, all the way up to Manasquan, the big stripers are in, and they're still feeding on those bunker schools. You get out early, look for those bunker schools to the live line, but don't forget about the spoons and the stretch plugs and the Rapala x rap Magnums. Be prepared. But Johnny Tilton here shows you what happens when you find the right conditions. A 52 pound, 15 ounce striper that he caught over the Memorial Day weekend. He was fishing with Captain Ken Nutt, checked in this fish over at, Barnegat, or at a Fisherman's Headquarters in Ship Bottom. Now we also got a report from Doc Outfitters. Uh, the Tony Maj has mentioned that the bunker spoons are working. Walt Dudley has had them up to 48 pounds in the last week as well. He's a pro staffer for Tony Maja, and those spoons are working. So continue to work those spoons if you're not finding where the bunker schools are. I mentioned the Delaware. We're waiting for more of those stripers to also finish up the spawn and come on out of the Hudson River. Walt Fisher was a member of the Staten Island Tuna Club. He was out fishing with his son Thomas the other day at a 39.85 pound striper up on the rare. And so yes, that striper bite continues throughout the state from the Delaware Bay all the way up to Raritan Bay. I mentioned Staten Island Tuna Club. Walt wanted me to remind folks that the uh, shark tournament, the ST, SITC month-long shark tournament, all the way through June. And of course, next week is the annual Armed Forces Invitational, the Stripe Bass Tournament. A great event for our servicemen and women. Uh, you can check in with SITunaClub.com, find out more information about that. 
As far as the shark tournaments and that June tournament, we've got more of those shark tournaments. Mako Mania, Mako Fever, the South Jersey Shark Tournament. And the shark tournament season is here and the sharks have arrived too, which is a really good news. Down in Delaware, we had a 297 pound thresher reported into Hook'em and Cook'em. That was caught on Just Got Real. They were at the old grounds. So those threshers are starting to move in close. Close. Make sure you pick up the June edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Al Restori has a good article about those threshers in on the bunker school. So hopefully we hear more of a good thresher bite. Now, not just the sharks 20, 30 miles out, but the offshore bite is getting underway as well. The June edition also has our launch of the offshore reports for the season. And we've got some good reports coming in on tuna. Uh, Ted Hines was out of Barnegat Inlet here over the weekend, got into some tuna, and we're hearing more of the yellowfin bite to the Southern Canyons, the Washington and the Wilmington. So the bite is starting to materialize. You start looking out for those weather windows now. If you can find a boat, there's plenty of them. Check out the Fisherman Magazine, fisherman.com. Plenty of boats are now, they're, they're booking the charters for the offshore season and hoping to get an early start as well. If you're keeping it inshore and keeping it closer this weekend, even in the back bay where the fluke bite has not been great in south central Jersey in the back bay, but we're hoping that's going to turn on any time. Hopefully it's this weekend for the RFA Bass River Classic on Saturday out of Viking Yachting Center in Valhalla Boat Sales, Breezes Marina there. Now the $1,000 bounty that Yamaha offered in the Absecon Bay Tournament last week, they paid off and that fish wasn't, wasn't a monster by any stretch of the word. So if you're looking to make some extra cash, make sure you check in with that tournament. Make sure that your RFA membership is up to date as well. Of course, we're all looking for the doormats. We've got our first real legitimate doormat coming into the tackle box. Mark Kipper of Old Bridge was drifting in Reach Channel with a gulp and bucktail combination and scored this 13 pounder. Again, we're waiting to find out if these fish start populating that Fisherman Magazine Dreamboat Contest. If you're weighing in fish, folks, remember you can weigh in multiple fish in a particular category. If you're going out and taking advantage of the sea, uh, the sea bass bite this weekend, if you've got three, four, five good knuckleheads, don't have the mates fillet them. You do it yourself. Bring them into the tackle shop, weigh them in. Subscribers, you gotta earn points this year. Fish hard, win big, and check with us next week. We'll have more on the update from the battle on the beach at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intelux Marine Paint, Fanatics of Ocean City, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.